curse and direction. In Krinky, the situation remains the same. Ukrainian formations continue to cling to a bridgehead in the populated area, trying to expand the zone of control deeper into the forest. This night, two assault groups of the 1st Battalion of the 38th Marine Marine Corps of the Ukrainian Navy took up positions south of the greenhouses adjacent to the plantings in the south of Krynak, which indicates a slight advance of the Marines to the south. As a result of artillery fire and mortar fire from the Russian armed forces, the group was scattered and suffered losses. The wounded and dead were evacuated to the northern part of the village, from where they were transported to the right bank. In general, the situation in the Kherson direction has not changed. Ukrainian marines are trying to move deeper, but without significant success. However, as the weather gets colder, the Dnieper bed will freeze, which will simplify the movement of walking groups across the river. Today on the Kherson direction in the area of the settlement, units of the 37th Marine Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces arrived in Krinky. Before that, there were units of 36, 38 Marine Brigades and 503th separate Marine Battalions of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. This indicates heavy losses of the Ukrainian forces. Let me remind you that the Marine Corps units of the Ukrainian Armed Forces have always been considered elite and one of the most experienced, on par with the 25th, 79th, and 95th Airborne Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Why Kiev continues to send its Marines to slaughter is unknown. And this is not some kind of propaganda. RF fighters in that direction are also perplexed. Zelensky and company are clearly draining their most combat-ready soldiers and liberating the territory of Ukraine of people. Why and for whom time will tell. The activity of the Russian armed forces in all sectors of the front has increased significantly. In the Kapiansky sector, Russian fighters destroyed another Ukrainian armed forces crossing in Kupiansk significantly reducing the logistics capabilities of the Ukrainian armed forces. Positional battles continue on the northern outskirts of Sinkovka. To the south, the military personnel occupied the Shirokea ravine on the Torsky ledge, advancing up to a kilometer forward. Meanwhile, further south, in the svatovsko kremensky sector, Fighters continued to build on their success on the Torsky ledge, fighting their way to Terny. According to some reports, the Russian armed forces also managed to significantly advance in land near the Broad Ravine. The Ukrainian armed forces periodically counterattack in the forestry area towards Crimea, but have not yet achieved success. Russian troops are pressing on AFU positions along the entire front line in the Soldar direction. In the north, the RF armed forces are developing success towards Krasno and Bogdanovka. Thus, the fighters manage to expand the zone of control at Bakhmutsky Dacha's southwest of the city. On the southern flank, the Russian armed forces were able to slightly expand the zone of control near Kleshchivka, where the main clashes take place beyond the tactical heights near the village. The settlement itself does not have any significance since it is located in a lowland and almost completely destroyed. In the Avdivsky sector on the northern flank of Avdivka, Russian military personnel expanded the zone of control at the Avdivsky coke plant and the vicinity of Stepovo. Positional battles continue on the southern flank south of Severny and Toninki. In the Orkovsky sector, Russian units are advancing towards Rabatino, and in the Verbovoy area with airborne units, recapturing positions lost in the summer. AFU uses cluster munitions to prevent a breakthrough of defensive lines. In addition, in Kamensk, the rotation of the Ukrainian armed forces was disrupted and a kamikaze drone struck the Ukrainian and TPQ-50 radar station. During the week, UV drone raids on Russian regions continued, as before, settlements in the Belgorod, Donetsk and Kherson regions most often come under fire from Ukrainian formations. Kiev has already lost? Develt article. 
Winter is just around the corner. The counteroffensive seems to have failed. The Allies are tired. And Zelensky has a new opponent that no one expected, his own commander-in-chief Zelensky. Meanwhile, the White House confirmed that after the United States runs out of money to help Ukraine, arms supplies will stop. On top of the issues facing Ukrainian army, the start of preparing defenses during winter have already started to show lack of preparedness.